So, believe it or not, Ultazoid Zero does have a combo loop. It's just very tricky to pull off. It's just a four-punch combo after you pop your opponent up. So, let me show you. One, two, three, four. And then do a first super skill. And now you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this just loops forever, really. Until they break it or use an assist. That was my accent. I actually pressed it five times. You don't want to complete the five. You can even start it off like this too. One, two, three, four. So after you get that first skill off, you pretty much just keep pressing the button four times. You stop at that punch, and then you do it again. Which is kind of dumb, if you think about it, because that means Ultisoy Zero has a combo loop, and it's disgusting. My god, he doesn't even land. Especially on the corner, apparently it works better. That was me uh, getting tired. <laughs> so yeah, the, that's pretty much the Ultazoid combo loop. If you were wondering what he's good for, it's that. But you have to be very cautious with it. He's not like as simple as all the other characters with their combos. You have to really time these attacks. And sometimes when you have bad ping matches, you can actually drop this combo. So just be wary of that. But if you pull it off, let me tell you something. It works out. Now you can pop him up, beam him, and then continue the streak again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, you just keep him in the air the entire match, and that's what makes Ultazoid Zero very dumb. And I dropped it. So yeah. So just keep that in mind when playing him. You can also do it the other way. You can do this. Um, not that one. It is, um, one sec. One, two, three. You can pop him up and then do his hyper attack and continue it like that. It is guard breaker attack actually. And this will also put him in the air. It's another way to kind of connect into it if you need to. Two, three, four. Two, three. Yeah, you just want to make sure once he's done throwing that hook, you stop pressing the button, take a one second gap, and then go again. It works a, most of the time, like especially, I mean, Ozo is a pretty heavy character. Let's do Zep. He's a pretty heavy character, so let's try it on him real quick. Start the pop up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hmm. 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 And then you're pretty much just looping this the entire match, and that's what makes him really dumb. I know I shouldn't really be showing this video for players, but it's good for them to know that they he does have a combo loop. And he is free. And I dropped it. <laughs> so the good news is there is a combo loop. It's just very time it's a very timed one where you don't really get a break. One, two, three, four. You have to stay like focus on those like that right hook punch. So you don't like accidentally mix it. So Zephon's a little bit heavy. So Zephon actually won't be able to eat the full force of the character. So let's try zero beyond, see if it goes full force. Bam, 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 bam. One, two, three, four. 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 So yeah, this is just loop, loop, loop. Loop, loop, loop. After that right hook, wait one second. Go again. Wait one second. Go again. Wait one second. Go again. Ah, oh, I actually had it, and then I could have popped him up. So yeah, it it's his pretty much this is Ultazoid Zero's actual combo. That's his this is his true combo. Where you can actually do stuff. And then you get in with the charge attack. And then you can start the loop. Somehow he ends up on the other side of him when he right hooks him. Wow, Zero Beyond is making this a lot harder. Let's pop him up. Pop him up again. Slice, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Like I say, and then you just do that to really add up some damage output with them. That way you keep it going, and the damage is good with Ultazoid Zero, so you can actually do stuff with them. There we go. There we go. Now, character's weight could depend, um, but so far, as you can see, now we got him into a point... Like, we had him up to a point in the air where he wasn't really falling, and then I got greedy again. Um, I guess another character to actually try it on. Not really anyone else. I mean, you just want to really try it on, like, the heavier characters, really. Because, you know. 
know, they can fall a little bit faster. So yeah, one more time we're going to show this combo. One, two, three, four. And then you can go into that first attack skill. Two, three, four. And you just got to make sure you look time that punch just right. You don't even press the button again after that punch. Just keep going. And if he starts to get too low, pop him back up. One, two, three, four. And legit, you can build the meter pretty quickly and keep him in the air if necessary. If you feel like he's getting too low, definitely use this skill, you know? And beam him. Keep him up in the air. And that's a touch of death. So I'm glad I can show you this, guys. Let's do it one more time. And then we're done. How much time is that? Five minutes? Sorry about that. Thought we'd just show it so you can see the consistency that the combo, what is Ultazoid Zero's true like combo. So I wanted to show that. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So right after that right hook, you're set. You have the loop going and going. Like I said, the only size is combo clashing or an assist. Bam. 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 I know, we got like Marvel vs. Cac on three loops in this game. It's weird. Oh, he's about to fall. Pop him back up. Get him higher. And GG's. Alright, thanks for watching, Alice. Peace out. And that is your true Ultazoid Zero combo.